fecha. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? A presto, Ezio. Buongiorno. Salute, Sir Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Buon viaggio! It seems you have yet to translate all your codex pages, Nipote. Go and see Leonardo and have him make sense of their contents. Only then can we begin. Leonardo! Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! I think this is the key. If I just rewrite this line... And it works. Here, take it. Ezio! It is time, uncle. 
Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy, and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The Codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. It is a map of the entire world, but there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently they do exist. I imagine they've yet to be discovered, or rediscovered. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. What staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The paper staff is the second piece of Eden. For years, no, decades, we've sought these answers. And now, at last, we have them. But so too could the Spaniard. And if he does... If he finds a way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What are the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom to conduct your search. 
Just let me know when you are ready, Nipote. Roma beckons, Ezio. Let me know when you are ready to depart. <laughs> 